Hey everyone, so I'm back here today. Today we're going to make deer strap nachos, fajita nachos, deer strap fajita nachos. So I'm going to show you this here a little way. Now I done seasoned this here up and some Italian dressing, okay? We're going to get in here and we're going to cut this here up really thin. Okay, now remember, this deer strap is not going to cook long, okay? So I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to cut this here on up here. We're going to cut it real thin, fourth of an inch, okay? Okay, so now I'm on my last cut of fajita meat, this deer strap fajita meat. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it because what I'm going to do, I'm finished cutting this here on up. And I'm going to season it up. Then I'm going to take it. And then I'm see, I don't have that much. So, you know, it's not that much. But I'm going to season it on up here. Because we're going to make fajita meat out of it. And when you take it and you season it up in that. Uh... Now, we're going to get started here again. I had to clean everything up and off because what I'm getting ready to do now, I have chili powder. Okay, I'm gonna put on the front how much of everything I'm using. Now this is chili powder and it's kind of a little hot because it was made by, the, by Indians. It come from an Indian store and it's kind of a little hot, but I don't want it that spicy. Okay, I just wanted a little spicy. And I'm gonna measure it off because it's going on top of my meat. Okay. And all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a fourth of this because I don't have that much of meat. And this is the name of it right here. Okay, it's chili powder hot and you see you see the Indian name on there, okay? And this is the one I'm using, but you just use chili powder. But I'm using that chili powder. Okay, I'm using me some cumumin, all right? So with the cumumin, I'm gonna use me, let me see, I don't have that much of meat in there, okay? So I really don't have that much of meat in there. So what I'm gonna do, it's gonna use me a half of a teaspoon of cumin. Now this is when you're making your fajita meat that you come on out and you do certain things to it. Now this right here is cayenne pepper. Okay, cayenne pepper. I'm only gonna use a half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, just a half of a teaspoon of that. That's going in, okay? Now, I'm going to use me some black pepper. And I'm just going to use a half of a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, just a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to use me some salt. And all I'm going to use is a half of a teaspoon of salt. And that's it. Okay, just a half a teaspoon. And what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm gonna mix this here on up. I'm gonna mix everything on up here. And I'm gonna stick it back in the refrigerator while I'm cutting up my vegetables. Cause it'll give it time for everything to saute up in there really good. So make sure you take and you mix this here up really, really good. Now, when you're making your fajita meat out of beef or chicken, same way. Same way. Mix it up with these seasonings. Okay? All you got to do is just mix it up with these seasonings. And that's it. And you'll have your perfect little taste. Okay? All right, then. And I might come back in here and I'm going to cut some of them in half. Some of this meat, some of this here, uh, uh, deer meat, I'm going to cut it 
in half because it's kind of long, all right? So I'll be back. I forgot what I was doing. I'm gonna take me some lime juice, okay? And I'm gonna put me about a half of a teaspoon of lime juice on my meat. Just a half of a teaspoon of lime juice. Cause realize I don't have that much of uh, deer meat here. Okay, if I had more, then I would do more. But I don't have that much. So I'm not gonna put that much on there. And then let me mix this here on back up again. Cause I want the lime juice on there. Okay, and then I took it and I cut it up to about this size like this here because I uh, want to be able, when it's on the nachos, you just pick it on up and eat it. That's what I want, okay? So I just wanted to tell y'all what I was doing. And don't forget to do that. Now, since our pieces are so small, and they're not that big. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna cut them really thin. Really, really thin. I do not want them big at all. And this is a green bell pepper, okay? This is a green bell pepper that I'm cutting up here and it's gonna be very thin, okay? So you know, hey, I think it's still hunting season out there and everything. And everybody have all they deer and going hunting and all like this old type of stuff. I think it's still deer season. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, I just can't remember. And you see how small that is. This is very small and very, very thin. It's not thick at all. Because think of the meat. These are back straps, okay? And since these back straps are like that, we're not going to go in there with all this here, okay? <clears throat> all right? Because I just want everything really small. I don't want a whole lot of whatever because I have to remember how much I have. And I only cut me out just enough. I only cut enough uh, bell pepper, the green bell pepper, I only cut enough. I didn't cut no whole lot. Okay, I only cut me a little small piece of that. Now, you know how much you want. If you make more of it, then you know what you're going to cut off. But I did this here really small because I wanted it small. And make sure there's no seeds on your uh, bell pepper. So when you make fajita meat, you're putting all your seasonings. And I'm going to have it on the front how much we're going to do. And don't forget, y'all, go to go to uh, YouTube and subscribe and hit like and leave your comments and everything. And my brother, he's doing good. I wanted to tell everyone he is doing good. Uh, the doctor's not giving him the radiation. Um they gonna let him go and stay on his pills. He goes back sometime, I think, I think it may be next week or so on the 16th or something like that to find out, to see uh, if the cancer is, is like stopped or is not increasing to see if it's increasing or decreasing, okay? uh to see to see if it's levels to see how far his levels are so i want to tell everyone please please continue to pray for him okay please continue to pray for him i'm gonna see about when he's gonna be ready to come back on and make another video okay now this is what i'm getting ready to do i'm getting ready to slice these onions up now, when you slice your onions up, do them really thin. Don't do them thick. Do them really, really thin, okay? Do them really thin because I want thin onions up in there, okay? Because what we're going to do, we're going to saute these onions up, 
okay? And I want these onions to be done really thin, okay? So all this here is not so big everywhere. We got, it's, it's kind of small, okay? Because that deer is not going to stay in there long uh, cooking. I'm only going to leave it in there for a couple of seconds. Just enough. All right, just enough. And it's not going to even be in there long at all. Just for a couple of seconds. And that's it. All right. So I just want y'all to know that. And to know that I'm doing it really thin. And what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm getting ready to saute this here on up. Because this is not that much of onion when you can look at it and tell. It's not that much of onion. And we're going to do it... Uh, I'm gonna do it with some Crisco oil. If you don't want to use Crisco oil, use you a vegan oil or whatever type of oil you want to, olive oil, whichever one you want to use it. Use this here. We're gonna use about two tablespoons of this oil right right here, this vegetable oil, and we're gonna use us uh, one teaspoon of minced garlic. Okay. Everything is going to be wrote on the front. Make sure you get your pencil and paper. Have it down there. Or either go back and forth and keep doing it and keep looking at it and seeing what I have. All right. So now I'm going to go to my skillet and you're going to meet me over there. Okay. So now we're getting ready to saute our bell peppers, red bell pepper and onion. So we're gonna saute in here and we're gonna, we're not gonna do it so fast because I want that season to work its way up in there, okay? And I am going to use me one teaspoon of garlic, which equals to two cloves. I mean, two garlic cloves diced up. This is mince, mince, uh, Okay, this right here is minced garlic. Okay? Or uh, you can take and dice you up two minced, two garlic cloves. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to let this here go ahead on saute up. Because I wanted to saute up in the grease so the, the grease can have the seasonings all in there. Okay? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my flavor in my uh, oils. I want all my seasonings to go in my oil. I don't want to take and fry this here up too fast. Just, I want it to just saute on up in there. So while I'm letting this here get together here and sauteing itself on up, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and we're going to do the cheese. So I can show you how the cheese is done. Okay, so now I have my butter. This is two tablespoons of butter here. Okay, two tablespoons of butter. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of flour. So we put in the two tablespoons of flour along with a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, we're gonna mix that on up here, just like this. And we're gonna let that simmer for about one to two minutes here. Okay, I took my onions and I cut them down to two. Okay, I have my onions cut down to two. Because I'm just letting them saute up here until I can see through them. When you start seeing through them real, seeing through your onions and they get translucent and you see through them real good, then you know they're ready. Okay? So now what we get ready to do about one or two minutes is what we're going to do. Then we're going to take and we're going to put our milk in. Oh, then when we take and do that, then we're going to turn our heat up. Okay? The heat is going to go up. 
All right. So we're going to let this here go ahead on and cook here just for a little bit longer. Now we're going to put one cup of milk in here. Now we're making the sauce, the cheese sauce for the nachos. This is what we're making. Okay. Now what we do, we take and turn it up to eight till it starts simmering. All right. So this is got this got turned up to eight. All right. So when it says start simmering, then we're gonna take and we're going to uh, add our cheese. So we just let this here start it's getting like this here. But then when it starts simmering and everything some, then we're going to add our cheese. And what we're doing, we're going to be adding eight ounces of cheese. So if you get your little bitty block of cheese and it has 16 ounces on it, only cut it in half to make it eight. Okay. So when it still starts simmering, then... We're gonna add the cheese. Okay, so now this is simmering. And it's starting getting kind of thick. So now we're gonna cut this here down to low. Let the cheese melt in there. Okay, let the cheese melt in. This is eight ounces of cheese. You can get shredded cheese or whichever one you want to because you know the flour is gonna make it thick. Okay, so while this is melting in here on low, come on out of there, cheese. We're gonna let this. Okay, so now I done brought my heat up some. So now we're gonna take and we're gonna put the deer meat in there. We're gonna saute the deer meat on up in there. Just saute it up enough until you don't see too much of this red, but you don't want to overcook it, okay? Because don't forget, our grease already has all that flavor and everything all in it. All this is doing is just bringing it up. Just a couple of seconds or a minute or two. That's it. Not even that long. Because you remember this already cut up thin. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to overcook it. Okay, that's finished. Get this here, I'm going to scoop that on out of there. Put it on over here. Because if I leave it in there, it ain't going to do nothing but continue cooking. And I don't want it to continue to cook. Because it's already done, done its thing. And it is perfect. See how it turned out? It turned out perfect. Perfect. Just a little bit of everything in there. Perfect. Okay, and it's tender. So, the cheese is perfect and melted good. So, we're going to take that. Put that on top of our nachos like this. Okay. Put it on top of the nachos just like that. So, we can make sure it's covered up good. All right. Then when you do it like that, then you're going to take you some of your meat. Some of your fajita meat. And you're going to put that all on top of there. Just like this here. 
Just like that. Just put it all on top. Just like that. Okay? Just like this here is what you're going to do. You're going to do it like that. Then we have uh, some sliced jalapenos here. That's, you know, nachos just ain't nachos if it don't have this on there. You know what I mean? It just ain't nachos. All right, then, y'all. I have finished. This is it. This is how it turned out. And it turned out excellent. Hit subscribe. Hit like, y'all. I just showed y'all something else you can do with those back straps. You can take and make you some nachos. Okay, so all I want you to do, give someone a big hug, tell them you love them, okay? Tell them you love them, and bon appetit, baby.